You might have heard the term degree apprenticeship. And if you're watching this video, then you're probably wanting to do a degree apprenticeship in engineering. But what actually is an engineering degree apprenticeship? Well, a degree apprenticeship in essence is where you work for a company whilst studying a bachelor's of engineering or a bachelor's degree in a relevant sort of area to what you're working in. So for example, if you are doing a aerospace engineering degree apprenticeship, then it's likely that your degree is going to be something related to aerospace, aviation, or that sort of thing. The fundamental is that it is just an alternative to going to university and the core difference is that you're actually going to be working for a company and being paid whilst you're studying at university. So why is a degree apprenticeship great for someone wanting to do aerospace engineering or to be honest any engineering for that matter? So one of the big positives is that you don't actually have to pay for your degree. And in fact, you are getting paid by the company you're doing your degree apprenticeship with for the work that you're doing. So in essence, you're not actually going into any debt whatsoever and you're not having to fork out from your own pocket to pay for university. The other benefits of going and doing a degree apprenticeship over going to university on its own is that you're going to gain a lot of practical experience. You're going to get proper job you know, experience and real hands on skills and you're going to be able to have a big name company on your CV before most people have even graduated. But that is obviously if you do a degree apprenticeship at a big name company. Okay, cool. I mean, a degree apprenticeship, you know, it sounds pretty cool, right? I mean, I've, I've pretty much listed out a lot of positives related to doing such a scheme or program, should I say. But why might you not want to do a degree apprenticeship? So one of the reasons is that it's very likely that the degree and university that you will go to will be from you know, not such a great place. So the universities that generally partner up with these companies to offer a degree apprenticeship are generally and sometimes not getting a degree from a reputable and well-known university can be quite detrimental in your career in the future. Just depends on sort of what industry you end up going into later down the line. Though this may change in the future, but as it stands, some people still do look out for if you've gone to a top to university. And so if you do end up doing a degree apprenticeship, you might be limiting yourself from some types of jobs. This next thing I'm going to say might be a bit controversial. <laughs> and well, the entry requirements to a degree apprenticeship are generally much lower than if you were to go and study engineering straight up at a top tier university. And this being said, it is very likely that you're going to end up with people around you that are not as academically gifted and talented than if you were to go to a top university and do the traditional university route. But you know, obviously there are exceptions, so I'm not saying everyone that does a degree apprenticeship are not academically you know, up there like most people who go to top tier universities are. Definitely there are people who have chosen the apprenticeship routes for, well, the pros I've listed. A lot of people nowadays do say like university is too expensive and it's not worth it and all this other stuff, but I still think that there are aspects to university that you, will, you won't get if you do a degree apprenticeship. Um, I personally have not done a degree apprenticeship, so I might be completely wrong, but this is just what my understandings of a degree apprenticeship are and sort of like what I've observed. And that is that when you go to university or a good university or top university, you're going to be networking with people of your own age group, but also who are very, you know, talented and are real career driven people. Well, this is might not seem like much at the time because you're all, you know, sort of like 20 year olds like having fun and stuff at university but when it comes later down in your career when you're all like in successful careers and like developing your career that network is going to be much more useful than the people you're going to interact with day to day if you do your degree apprenticeship but let's 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 wrap this up so there are definitely pros and cons to both going just to university and doing a degree apprenticeship and I think the choice is ultimate, ultimately up to you as an individual because it, it's sort of just like a question of where are you more likely to fit in the best. And some people thrive at university 
and some people thrive doing a degree apprenticeship. But sometimes if you were to take those individuals and swap their places, they might not do the best that they can. And so ultimately, it depends on you and how you want to learn, whether you prefer to work and learn on the job like that, but then also kind of sacrifice the connections you might build. Or would you like to be more theoretical and learn the theory in a more you know, university style environment where you're more focused on the academics rather than the practical skills, but then you would also have better connections when you do go into the workforce. So it's a tricky question to really answer which, you, which one you should do. Some people might have the easy choice where they don't have the grades high enough to get into a really good university, but they do have grades to get into a really good degree apprenticeship program. Maybe it's with like a, an awesome aerospace company. So in that case, definitely choose the degree apprenticeship over just going to a mediocre university because you're going to go to a mediocre university anyway doing a degree apprenticeship, but you might as well do it whilst gaining practical skills. Um, but some people might have the difficult choice where they actually have got, say, I don't know, three A stars at A level and they have like an offer for Cambridge, but then they also have like really good degree apprenticeship offers. Then it's like, yeah, which one would you choose? Personally, if I was in the situation where I had the choice of a top tier university or a really good degree apprenticeship, I would probably choose the university because honestly, the way to really succeed in your career, whatever discipline you do, is knowing the right people. And there's only so far skills and you know practical knowledge and theoretical knowledge can get you. But if, you're, if you've got the right connections and you know the right people, then it makes your life so much easier. And that's just, that's just a fact of how the world is. But if you're still watching this video and do want to do a degree apprenticeship, then there are many different choices of companies that you can approach in the UK. And sometimes the best way, even if they don't say that they're offering degree apprenticeships online, is to get into contact with the company. So go on their website, see if they have like an email that you can email, or maybe if you get LinkedIn, which I also have made a video about here, if you message people who work at the company, they might be able to help you out. And ultimately, yeah, most top aerospace companies in the UK, like Airbus and stuff like that, do offer degree apprenticeships. But sometimes, you know, some years they might not offer any, some, might, some years they might offer some. So just have to be aware. And uh, I don't really have a list of the companies that are offering them because, you know, sometimes they're kind of like a bit ad hoc. So some years they might offer and some years they might not. But, you know, just uh, keep an eye out, have a look out for on the different websites when you are looking for degree apprenticeships. And in essence, just make a list of all the aerospace companies in the UK and then just go through each of their websites and get in touch with people that you can connect with on LinkedIn or email just you know to proactively find out if there are any degree degree apprenticeship opportunities for yourself. I hope this helped you in trying to figure out whether or not you should do a degree apprenticeship or not. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the uh, like button, subscribe to the channel and uh, I will see you in another video. Goodbye everyone.